Your New Year's resolution is to learn German. So you went out and you subscribed to every German learning channel you can find. You opened a Duolingo account or dusted off an old one. You searched online for how to teach yourself a language and you still aren't terribly confident that you can accomplish your goals. If this sounds like you, then you need to watch this video. I'll tell you how to get the most out of your German learning this year. Number one, there is no all-in-one option. You can't just subscribe to this channel or that channel or any other channel for that matter and think that you are going to become fluent from watching those videos. Doing just one thing, no matter what that one thing is, will never make you fluent. Language learning is a multifaceted thing. Watching videos will help your receptive understanding, definitely your listening comprehension, and maybe your reading comprehension, depending on the kind of videos you're watching. But if you're looking for a way to improve your writing skills by watching a YouTube video, you are going to be disappointed. Writing skills are improved by writing. In order to do that, you need to read a lot, which increases your reading skills. Improving your speaking skills is only done by speaking. Even if you have to talk to yourself, you can't improve your speaking skills without speaking, period. If you only do one of these actions, you will never be fluent. You need all four aspects of language learning in order to be considered fluent. Reading, writing, listening, speaking. Skip one of those and prepare yourself for your inevitable failure. You wouldn't skip leg day at the gym. Don't skip writing day when learning German. Number two, consistency is key. Every language learning tip video you will ever see says that you need to be consistently practicing your language skills or you will regress. While I know everyone else who is giving you tips about language learning is telling you this, the importance of consistency cannot be understated. Take a week off from your language learning regimen and expect your language skills to fall two weeks backwards. Set aside time every day to study German. If you can't do it every day, try every other day. Anything longer than a stretch of every other day is too much. You'll take one step forward and a half a step back. It'll take you ages to be fluent that way. Number three, most apps are useless. It's time someone told you, Duolingo is not a language learning program. Duolingo is a waste of time unless you are supplementing it properly with other materials. So is literally every other app you will ever find. I don't care if the internet is toting it as the next big thing, or what the military is using, or the FBI uses to train spies. The truth of the matter is that none of them will ever make you fluent. Apps are okay for reviewing. They're okay for passing the time between bus stops. They're okay for reminding you of the things that you've already learned. But if you think they're going to do anything more than that, you are in for a rude awakening. Even the 2018 app of the year drops is woefully unprepared to help you learn a language. You need more than just an app to learn a language. Number four, you will not always be entertained. One of the most prevailing comments on some of my videos is that they're boring or lame. I usually acknowledge this fact to the commenter. You're correct, this video is boring, but I'm not here to entertain you. I am here to educate you. Education isn't always glamorous or flashy or entertaining. Grammar is boring, but if you don't learn it, you is going to sound like you know is talking with the good words and stuff. While the entertainment factor is definitely necessary to help you stay motivated and keep you on your toes while learning a language, it is not going to be able to teach you everything you need to know. The goal is to limit your boredom while learning. I would recommend no less than an 80-20 entertainment to boredom ratio. At least once or twice a week, you should be bored, but these will also be your most enlightening days of your language learning. Take these spaces of boredom to give you something to look for in your next entertaining lesson day. Learn a grammar topic on a boring day and look for examples of that grammar topic when you go back to the entertaining things. The goal ratio of entertainment to boredom, in my opinion, should be about 50-50. Spend about half of your time reminding yourself why you are learning the language with something entertaining but still educational. And the other half of the time, you should be spending it being serious about your language learning. Number five, know what you need to know before you learn it. It isn't enough just to learn a language. Without a goal in mind, you'll just wander aimlessly around the language learning forums on Reddit and never actually progress forward. Why are you learning German? What is the end goal? Are you looking to travel to Germany? You need to learn how to order food, how to buy things, how to interact with people, how to get directions and other everyday necessities. 
Are you planning on staying there for a prolonged period of time? You need to know how to get an apartment, how to make sure that your visa won't expire while you're there, how to get a job, how to pay taxes. Without knowing these goals ahead of time, you won't know which direction to point your learning. Learning without a goal is like driving without a destination. You get distracted by something shiny and you forgot about the things that you were supposed to be learning before. Start with the end in mind and make every step that you take a step in the direction of that goal. Number six, start with these YouTube channels. If you're looking for the best YouTube channels to help you get started learning German, I've already compiled my list of my personal favorites, but there are a couple of channels that have become popular since I made that video, so I'll give you a quick rundown of the ones that I would recommend to you today. I always recommend that anyone starting to learn German should start with Katja from Deutsch für euch. Her videos start with the very basics and go all the way up to some very complicated grammar topics. Start with her very first video and start working your way forward. She has one of the best sequential series for German learners. Learn German with Jenny is great if you're looking for a lesson on a particular topic. You can't really start with one video and watch a playlist that will take you to a certain level, but her lessons are so good they are definitely worth taking a look at. Another channel that is great for specific topical lessons is Learn German with Anya. If you can't find a lesson on Jenny's channel, you'll find it on Anya's. If you can't find one on Anya's, try Jenny's. By far the best channel for listening comprehension is Easy German. They do interviews with native speakers on the streets of Germany. If you need vocabulary on a particular topic, this is one of the best places to find it. Take notes while you're watching their videos and you will be well on your way to learning German like a pro. The most underrated channel on YouTube is Vlog Dave. He has great German lessons and is definitely worth checking out. The most notable exclusion from my list in my original series is Deutsch mit Maria. She has a huge library of videos about various grammar and vocabulary topics. What I find particularly helpful are her videos designed to help you pass a German proficiency exam. They are the best videos about German test preparation that I have seen on YouTube. If you're planning on taking a German proficiency exam, you need to watch her videos. Number seven, supplement your learning properly. I mentioned this briefly in one of the other tips, but this is the part that I think a lot of people overlook. You can't just watch videos. You need to use these videos to their fullest potential. I'll use the videos in my channel, for example, because I'm most familiar with the extra materials that I make. Every video that I upload is meant to teach you a specific lesson. If you watch the video and do nothing else, you'll forget almost everything I said in the video. My recommendation would be to make each video last an hour. I don't mean that you should be watching every video on loop until you reach an hour. That would be awful. Watch the video and pause it a lot. Take notes as you're watching. Write down everything that you think might be important. The act of writing things down will help solidify the information in your brain. Organize the vocabulary that I teach you in the video so you can memorize it later. Sort the nouns by gender and the verbs by context. Read the script that I post on Patreon. Use this as a guide for your notes. You can also use it to avoid pausing and watching the video all the time. Download the worksheet from Patreon. Try to complete the tasks in the worksheet after you have finished your notes. Download the answer key to the worksheet and check your work. Take notes of your errors, find out why you were mistaken, and find a way so you can not make that mistake in the future. Try to write a few sentences using the knowledge that you already have and the new knowledge that you gained from the video. Use these sentences to practice your speaking. Make your sentences into a conversation. Read both parts of the conversation out loud. Read back through your notes. Before you start your next lesson, rewrite your notes from the previous lesson and try to organize it better than it was before. The other YouTube channels I mentioned before have similar materials that can help you supplement their videos and really get the most out of them. While I would appreciate it if you supported my work on Patreon, you should definitely consider supporting some of their work as well. Not only do they deserve it, but their materials are just as good if not better than mine. Number eight, buy some books. You need something that can act as a guide to show you what to learn and when. While you can find something like this online, it's very difficult to see what is good advice and what is not. You need at least two books. One grammar book and one overall German learning book. The overall learning book will help you keep on task and keep you going towards your overall goals. The grammar book will help you take a deeper dive when you eventually come across something that you don't understand. Trust me, this will happen eventually. I have some recommendations which you can find linked in the description, but my personal favorites are these. German Demystified is a great overall German learning book. It covers the grammar and vocabulary that you would need, and it includes exercises for you to practice on your own. It also takes an entertaining approach and makes the boring stuff a little bit more interesting. 
German in Review is a bit of an older German grammar book, but its depth and thoroughness keep it at the top of my list for German grammar books. It's a bit more expensive than other books, but in my opinion, the extra cost is worth it. It will not entertain you, but it's one of the best resources I have ever used. It was actually one of the textbooks that I had to use at the university. 1001 Pitfalls in German is a close second. It's much more affordable and takes the approach of these are the things you're going to mess up, here's how to avoid it. I like the way that the book is written, but it's less of a grammar book to read from cover to cover and more of a reference book to help you when you're stuck on something. It also isn't as in-depth as German in Review. Honorable mention goes to Mastering German Vocabulary, a thematic approach. It's a unique twist on a traditional German dictionary. It breaks down vocabulary into various categories and gives you a list of words that you should know in each of those categories. They also give you examples of how to use the vocabulary in real sentences. If you're looking for a free alternative, you should also check out Lingui. You can look up words like any other dictionary, but then it also shows you examples of how it's used, and then also how it's being used around the web. So that's my list of tips to help you make the most out of your German learning this new year. What do you think? Did I nail it? Did I forget something? Did I make a mistake? Let me know what your tips would be in the comments below, or which of these tips did you find most helpful? Das ist alles für heute. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss!